Okay, hello guys. Today's video is about a junior front-end developer and a junior front-end developer roadmap. So, who is junior front-end developer? How to be a junior and what you need to be a junior? What you need to know to be a junior front-end developer? So, okay, who is junior front-end developer? It's a developer with basic knowledge of web development and the internet as well. So he knows HTML, CSS, the basics of JavaScript and understands how a browser works. So and that's it. Kinda yeah, you can say it's simple, but you can learn more. Uh, maybe you know how to build a simple web page from scratch and you can learn some CSS frameworks and preprocessors like Bootstrap and SCSS. It's the basics uh, that might take up to one year if you learn smoothly and don't rush. In some cases you can learn PHP as I did. So my story about PHP is so funny because I learned PHP for my school project. I needed a, I needed a database, a working form and administrator panel to change, delete and add rows in a database. It was kind of hard uh, changing and deleting the script is not working by this time. But still, I don't learn PHP before, th before this project. This project took uh, seven months and it was a dental clinic website with seven pages without design layout, logo file, or just text, pictures, without anything. Like, I don't have anything, I just started from scratch. I made and found it all by myself. I have developed it by HTML, CSS, GIS and PHP without any frameworks or preprocessors. So there was a nice experience to work with. I, I, under, I understand how HTML and CSS, GIS, PHP works without any kind of frameworks. And that's nice. I have never done something like that before. Okay, so that was my story about PHP. Let's uh, continue. How to start? To start your journey in front-end development, you need to understand do you like it or not. So uh, to understand it, you need just to practice. Try to build a website in HTML and CSS. Just simple static page. It's a landing page. You don't need to to code uh, I don't know 10 pages website it will be just you know waste your time of course it's not a front-end development 100 it's basics if you like basics you will go and like to go deep uh, and you can take courses to provide smooth learning i have had to learn on free code camp free code camp is a free course that contains a lot of useful information with a certificate at the end of each course there are a lot of courses I, I can show you that, just so let's go on FreeCode Camp and here is the responsive web design certification 300 hours JavaScript algorithm and data structure certification and here is a lot of stuff, you go start from here and go and go step by step at the bottom, this responsive web design is a new better certification, you can see that it's something new, just, it's, it's cool you will go to response web design and here is basic HTML and HTML5. Okay, I've done that. It's basic CSS, applied visual design, applied accessibility, response web design principles, CSS flexbox, CSS grid, response web design projects is the most I know, interesting part of free code camp. It's a project. It's so cool. I so much like it. It's a tribute page, sorry for and product line page, technical documentation page about JavaScript and just be the, be, build the code for an IO app, technical documentation page. It's one of the projects of this course. And this is so cool. I don't know. I just super like it. Also, FreeCodeCamp has a big learner's uh, base on Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, FreeCodeCamp's blog. You can ask a question if you don't understand how to pass a challenge or answer if you know a solution. So Freecode Camp is good. And now I took courses on Udemy. I can attach the link uh, in the description. You can check it if you like. After you understand it's yours, you need to go deep. If you, are already, if you are already know 
HTML, CSS, and basic so JS and Git. Your next stage is NPM packages or Yarn. You can pick both as well and then learn Webpack technology. After that, pick a framework such as React, or Vue, or Angular. So, and now it's Weld and a lot of stuff new here, new now. So, you can check the roadmap here. If you would like to see more than I did, you can visit this website. I go with this roadmap.ch. It's a website about the front end development. Let's go, I'll show you that. Here is front end developer. You can see that you need to learn internet, how does the internet work, what is HTTP, its browsers, and how they work, DNS, and how it works, what is domain name, what is hosting. Then you learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and basics and stuff like that. SEO basics, it's so important stuff to learn too. So you can read it here. I will put the link in the description so you can check it. And the conclusion is thank you for watching this video. Those were my thoughts about the junior web developer roadmap. What do you think about the roadmap? Please let me know in the comments if you are a junior what do you learn right now if you just want to start it's a great time to do it and don't forget the programming means forever studying uh, don't stop uh, what you have learned right now keep moving and i hope you're doing well guys so thanks for watching hope uh, this helped you so bye